children welcome to our english lesson once again this lesson is based on unit 1 of your english textbook and this is the last lesson for unit 1 in this lesson we are going to construct simple sentences and also we are going to use them to write descriptions of people let's start the lesson okay children Now do you remember what you learned in the previous lessons in unit 1? You learned how to describe the appearance of people and also to describe the qualities of people and you used adjectives to describe people. So now you have all the vocabulary needed. So today you are going to write grammatically correct sentences describing people. Let's start. Now we'll do a simple activity. In this activity you have three sentences but the words in these three sentences are jumbled what you have to do is rearrange the words to construct a simple sentence let's start with the first one let's do the first one together now as you can see there are three words here generous is she now which word should come first In a sentence, usually it is the subject which comes first. The subject of a sentence is a noun or a pronoun. A noun like mother, dog, sumudu, or a subject pronoun like he, she, it, or they. So now you can identify the subject. What is the subject here? Yes, you have to write she first. Now what should come after she? Yes. In a simple sentence it is the verb that comes next. What is the verb here? is. Okay, so is should come after that. Now the last word is an adjective. It is generous. So how do you write the sentence now? She is generous. She is generous. Okay. Let's do the next one. Here also you have three words. She good is. Now it's very easy for you to do this. What is the sentence? Yes, you're correct. She is good. Now the last one. Here you have four words. Sometimes he hot-tempered is. Sometimes he hot tempered is. So what is the sentence? Yes, he is hot tempered sometimes. He is hot tempered sometimes. Okay. Now you have written three simple sentences describing a person. Let's move on to the next activity. Children Now that you have an idea about how to write a simple sentence, let me teach you something else about using adjectives in a sentence. Now look at these two sentences. One says he is kind and the other one says he is a kind boy. So in both sentences you have the adjective kind here. But in the first one, kind is used at the end of the sentence. He is kind. But look at the second one. Here the word kind comes before the noun boy. So he is a kind boy. In that situation, you have to use an article before the adjective. He is a kind boy. So when you are writing sentences, remember these things. If you say he is kind, it is correct. But if you are saying he is and kind boy you have to use an article and say he is a kind boy okay now let's see whether you can write sentences describing people on your own let's do this activity now read the instructions the instructions say write meaningful sentences making use of the words given In the first one here you have two words he loyal now you know that the subject should come first and the verb should come after that 
So how do you write a sentence here? He is loyal. He is loyal. Now let's move on to the second one. Here you have three words. He, truthful boy. Now remember what I taught you earlier. If you have the adjective and the noun, you have to use an article. So how do you write a sentence here? He is a truthful boy. He is a truthful boy. Don't forget to put a before truthful boy. Now the third one. Here also you have three words. She obedient girl. She obedient girl. So what's the sentence? She is an obedient girl. Why N this time? Because obedient starts with a vowel sound. So you don't say she is a obedient girl. You will have to say she is an obedient girl. Now the fourth one. She tall girl. Yes, now very easily you can write the sentence. She is a tall girl. She is a tall girl. Last one. He cooperative. How do you write the sentence? He is cooperative. He is cooperative. I'm sure you can write sentences by now. Okay, now that you know how to write simple sentences, let's describe your best friend. We'll do the activity by drawing a mind map about your best friend. So do you know how to do it? This is how you are going to do it. First you draw a circle and then in the middle you write the name of your best friend. And now you think of all the qualities of your best friend and write them one by one around the circle in the middle. You can do it now. Now let's write sentences. Now look at your mind map. You have the word obedient here. So how do you write a sentence about Tarindu? Okay, you can write Tarindu is obedient. Or even you can write Tarindu is an obedient boy. But remember to write an obedient boy because it's the vowel sound. Okay, take the next quality. Honest. So how are you going to write that? Tarindu is honest. But here if you want, you can even say he is honest. So you can say he instead of Tarindu. So he is honest or even he is an honest boy. Now remember an honest boy because here also H is silent and you have the vowel sound. Now the next quality. Next word says friendly. So how do you write a sentence? He is friendly or he is a friendly boy. Next quality, careless. Okay, what is the sentence? He is careless or he is a careless boy. Now the last one, it says kind. So you can say he is kind or he is a kind boy. Now you have some sentences about your best friend. Children, in all these sentences, you are using the be verb as the verb. You are using the verb is. He is kind. But remember, in your very first lesson, when we were describing the appearance of a person, we used a different sentence pattern. There we use the verb have. Remember, I have curly hair, she has a round face. So remember, you can use both these sentence patterns when describing people. You can use the verb is or the be verb or you can use have or has the verb have there. Okay, now you have done many activities. 
Now you can write sentences using two patterns to describe people and you know all the adjectives also to describe the appearance and the qualities. Let's do an activity now. This is activity 11 on page 11 of your textbook. Let's write a paragraph about your best friend. You have already written these sentences describing your friend in an earlier activity today. Let's look at them again. Now you can use them to build up your paragraph. When you write your paragraph, you need to do it in an organized way. You have to start your paragraph with a good introductory sentence. Here you are writing about your best friend. So you can introduce him first. You can write, my best friend is Taridu. My best friend is Taridu. Now you have to organize your sentences according to the order of importance. You can combine similar ideas too. Now, if it is similar, you can use the conjunction AND. But if you are going to write something different, you can use the conjunction BUT. Okay, so you can combine the sentences like this. So you can say, my best friend is Tarindu. Tarindu is an obedient boy. He is honest and kind. He is a friendly boy, but he is careless. Okay, so you can write something like, I like my friend very much, or I wish him all the best to conclude your paragraph. Then it is complete. Now look at the completed paragraph. Now we have come to the end of today's lesson. In this lesson, we practiced how to write simple sentences using be and have. And we also wrote simple descriptions of a person. Now children, you get similar questions in your O-level paper too. You are asked to write a paragraph in about 50 to 60 words. And you are given two topics and you have to select one and write. Usually the topics are like my best friend or my favorite teacher. So I hope this lesson is helpful to you. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Please subscribe to this channel. Goodbye.